What up, boxing world? JF Sports. Let's talk more boxing. Miguel Cotto supposedly is getting $30 million, if not more, and Canelo is getting over $10 million for their mega fight, so to speak, this coming November. Now, it's already being criticized that Canelo is getting much lower salary than Miguel Cotto. In my knowledge, I don't think Canelo nor Cotto has ever made the, the money that they're about to make. And I'm happy for them. Now, whether Cotto or Canelo is happy about that, and that's a different story. But, you know, they'll probably get more off of pay-per-view revenues and shares and stuff like that. Promotions. So, either way, both fighters are going to make eight figures. I know that boxing nowadays, big part of it is financial. As a matter of fact, that's what Floyd Mayweather is known for. Mayweather doesn't fight anywhere, no less than $30 million. But then again, a lot of people say Mayweather is in a different category. But Cotto and Canelo, I believe they're the next pay-per-view sensation. I mean, yes. Cotto has been in the game a little longer. He's fought almost the best. He's been a pay-per-view sensation, but not so much of Canelo. They're up there, and I have no doubt that in the near future, both fighters, if Cotto does not retire, they'll make more money. But this fight is not really about that, even though the fans are talking a lot about the purse split. It's about the fight. It's about the fight itself. This is one of the most anticipated fight that everybody was talking about. Yeah, let's make it happen. Especially when Canelo knocked out Kirkland and Cotto knocked out his last opponent impressively. I mean, both fighters has been knocking out their opponents, their past few opponents. Nothing but great things the fans could say to them. That's why it's the most anticipated fight. And a lot of people actually are saying that this fight is going to be bigger, if not better, than the Mayweather versus Pacquiao. And I have to agree. Now, as far as money-wise, not so much. But as far as the, as far as the fight itself, yes. I believe it's going to be more exciting, it's going to be more action, and that's what fans want. Just by telling about the purse split, we already know that Miguel Cotto is going to be favored to win. He's the defending title, and Canelo's looking into taking that title from him. Canelo is not somebody that Cotto... I believe will overlooked. I don't think so. This kid has power. This kid is hungry. He's young. And he's well capable of knocking out his opponents. Nonetheless, Miguel Cotto. Now, later on, everybody's going to make their own predictions. I mean, everybody's got the dog in the fight. And I will make mine too. As we get closer to the fight, November 21st. Now, you guys know Miguel Cotto has separated ties with Bob Arum and now has few more fight few more fights contracted with Rock Nation. But I believe I think it's got three more fights with Rock Nation. But it's now its own promoter, Miguel Cotto that is. And that is allowing him to have a bigger slice of his money as part of any negotiation before he fights. That's good. Like I said, 30 million for Cotto, over 10 million for Canelo, not mentioning pay per view revenues and shares and advertisements and all that stuff. I'm happy for them. I'm very happy. But that's not about it, though. 
You know, this fight is not just about money. This fight is about pride. It's about their countries except that they that they represent. Yes, Coro is from Puerto Rico. Canelo is from Mexico. Like I said, every time there's a Puerto Rican fighter against a Mexican fighter, it's like a whole new year. Christmas, holidays, you name it. This is going to be big, folks. And every fan, I mean every boxing fan around the world cannot wait for this fight to happen. I just hope, I just hope there's not some dumb stuff, some controversy that happens between now and November, knock on wood, for this fight to be canceled or postponed. That's something that we don't want to see. Hell, I don't want to see that. But you know, guys, I'm going to tell you guys something, though. I know that Triple G Golovkin is being mentioned as the next opponent of whoever wins this fight. Even so, like I said, for some odd reason, I'm going to share to you guys what I was thinking. For some odd reason, I see some kind, some kind of controversy happening, whether before the fight, during the fight, or after the fight, to where these two will meet up again before fighting Golovkin. I don't know, man. That's just what I'm thinking. Well, a lot of things happen in boxing to where it's fixed. A lot of stuff is under the table, behind closed doors, to make the mess, to make the the best out of out of out of money of the fight, and it's it's not unusual. But it's all good. I don't mind seeing Canelo and Cotto again after the first one. Hell, we haven't even seen the first one yet, but already. People, to include myself, wanting a rematch. I hope it's a good fight. And I know it is. I'm not doubting it. But just like I said, sometimes things happen to where we're not satisfied. Hell, the boxing fans are never satisfied. Never. We always want more. We always want action. We want the best out of it. We want the best out of our bucks. I mean, you name it. But like I said, I don't know, man. I just have this feeling that for some reason, these two are going to meet up again before they face Golovkin. I could be wrong. Or I could be right. But either way, this fight's happening. And I'm happy for them. I'm happy for Cotto and Canelo. Even though... They may not be so happy about how much they're getting on this fight. He's the defending champ, but I don't know, man. It's just something that tells me that this fight needs to have a rematch. I don't know. Coron Canelo, like I said, will meet November 21st. And then we got more controversies, more news that's going to come out. And it's going to be great. Towards the main goal, right? So to speak. Towards Golovkin. Let me know what you guys think. Drop me a comment. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.